before saying goodbye to my loved ones. Bye. Andrew, you can let go now. What? Um, because it's been like five minutes. Can you let go? You mean you can let go now? I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> Andrew! What? Let go of my leg. Take me with you. I have to leave. I wanna go too. <laughs> too bad. I got to the airport, boarded the plane, and could not believe my eyes. My airplane seat was more like an airplane suite. The suite comes with a lot of amenities, such as lip balm, lotion, and a broom spray, which is definitely needed because I'm sharing a room with Brent, and he smells. They served us gourmet meals, and I even tried caviar. But as you can tell by my face, I uh, wasn't the biggest fan. You guys, this seat is nuts. I just dropped a macadamia nut. And here's me doing a handstand to show you how big the suite was. I couldn't even tell you what this drink was, but whatever it is, it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. The bed was so comfortable that in a matter of no time, I'd be saying, welcome to the lovely oh Singapore. God. We're excited. Let's just say Singapore exceeded my expectations, especially after seeing our villa. Although Singapore is one of the coolest countries in the world, it also happens to be the strictest. So throughout this video, we're gonna be breaking some of Singapore's most outrageous laws. It's illegal to chew gum in Singapore. The fine is $100,000 or up to two years in jail. Oh, well, here's a piece of gum. Okay, here we go. Is the coast clear? Uh, yeah, go for it. Hey, how'd you get the gum here? Um, you don't wanna know. Lexi, it's also illegal to spit in Singapore. And it's illegal to litter, but we're not gonna do that. Five second rule. <laughs> Just kidding. It's illegal to sing in public, and I'm sure you guys don't wanna hear me sing, so hit it, Liv. You guys, I feel like I'm gonna get tackled at any moment. This is scary. I feel like I'm actually gonna get in trouble for singing. Like, watch me just be in Singapore prison. Okay, is it really illegal to sing here? Well, typically, yes, because those people who pass in Singapore need a license. You need a license to sing here, you guys. Lexi, they have a Singapore slinger. You guys, that means that there's that there's cameras. This is literally gonna be you, like, next week. Do you realize that? <laughs> you guys, we gotta get out of here. We do, we obviously do need to get out of here. Cut to the next location. It's illegal to walk around your house naked, and the fine is $2,000. <laughs> what? Yep. That should definitely be illegal. It's illegal to use the bathroom and not flush the toilet. Brent breaks this rule every day. Do not go in there. And I think he just broke it again. In Singapore, it's illegal to feed the pigeons. In fact, it's a $500 fine if you get caught doing so. Here, Birdie. Here, Birdie. Here. Here you go. Lexi? Yeah. Um, What's up? I don't, I don't think this is as funny as you think it is. Um, you, here. No, put the mask on. Um, I'm, put the mask on. No, that's all. I'm just Person. gonna. Come on. Gonna... Here, put the mask on. You're not allowed to eat on public transportation. <laughs> Brent, you're gonna get arrested. I don't care. You're also not allowed to stand in here. All right, right sit back down, sit back down. Even Don volunteered to break the law for me. Underage drinking. Oh, the law broke you, let's go! Little did he know that the drinking age in Singapore is actually 18. So he wasn't really breaking any law, but hey, he looked happy, so we just didn't tell him. Can someone tell me why Brent sits like this? Why is it so cold in here? Oh my god! The bottom of your socks, Brent. You guys, if you want real bra stuff, this is it. After breaking all those laws, it was time to start enjoying my trip. The goal is to get to the ledge and see what's on the other side. All right, here we go. I'm afraid of heights. Wow, okay. I am ducking shocked right now. For our last night in Singapore, we decided to go sightseeing. This is so cool. Like, I don't know if it gets any better than this. All of the lights, all of the lights. Bah, 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 bah. And although I didn't want to leave, it was time for our next adventure. But in order to get to our next destination, we had to take a seaplane, which would have been wonderful, except there was an unexpected storm and I thought we were for sure going down. Like, you're lucky I'm still here to tell the story. Oh. but we landed safely in the Maldives. We're in for a very tropical vacation. Nothing but blue skies, warm weather here, here in the Maldives. <laughs> we couldn't have asked for better weather here today, you guys. It doesn't get more tropical than this. Since I'm gonna be in the Maldives for a few days, I'm gonna give you guys a hotel tour and warning, my room's pretty cool. So if you don't like cool things, then I suggest you click off now. Just kidding, don't click off. You guys are gonna wanna see this. This is my room. 
the bar. The bed. The pool. The tub. The shower. Rent. But in all seriousness, our room was great and our trip was only getting better. We're in the party! staying overnight in a locker. Okay, first a vending machine and now a locker? I know. What's wrong with you? I don't know. This challenge is going to be pretty difficult, so if you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this video started. Woo! Woo! All right, let me do the honors. Oh my God. You guys, let the challenge begin. Okay, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. All right. Hey, yeah. All right, so as you guys can imagine, it's very boring in here, so I invited Andrew over, and he has no idea I'm doing this, so it should be pretty funny. What is this now? What, are you stuck in a locker now? Yeah. You just like getting stuck in things, right? <laughs> And the way, how does this happen? Okay, so first I did overnight in the vending machine, and now I'm doing overnight in the locker. What? Isn't that so much fun? All right, you know what? I'm gonna flip this one over no. to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be able to do it. Okay, Andrew, you can't come in here. This challenge is hard enough already. No, there's definitely room for. No, there's not. Yes, there is. <laughs> Boom! Perfect. No. Right, scoot over. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. I also right before this, I ate like. Taco, so I might fart. <laughs> Alright, ready? Perfect. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Get out! Get out! Get out! Yo, let's complete this challenge. What are you doing, Lexi? Andrew, I will pay you $500 to get out. <laughs> Wait, $500? I'm serious. We have a deal. Alright, bet. <laughs> Alright, Andrew, you're done. Oh, no. Alright, you guys, Ben's here. <laughs> Hey, yo! Who trapped you in here? Hi, Ben. Are you in a freaking school locker right now? Yes, I'm in a school locker. Oh my god, why? And I'm gonna be in here for the whole night. Oh my god. Lexi, I need to let you out. Let me out! Holy, this is honestly the coolest thing I've ever seen. I know you're trapped in there. I'm, I'm kind of sorry for you, but this looks really cool. It probably looks cool from the outside. On the inside, not so cool. Yeah, I would not want to be trapped in there. I'd be getting really claustrophobic. <laughs> Okay, so Ben, now that I have you here, yes. I have a little opportunity. Oh, as long as it doesn't consist of me getting in there with you, <laughs> I'm down. Okay, so if I complete this overnight challenge, yes. then you give me $500, okay? <laughs> but if I don't complete this overnight challenge, yes. then I will give you $500. Wow, oh, that's a really hard deal. So basically I should just try to get you out? <laughs> Right here. Oh my God, oh my God. Here we go. All right, I brought something else for you, Lexi. Please make it stop. It's a pretty tight fit in there, right? You think? All right, uh, let me make it a little tighter. Here we go. Lexi, you're kind of dumb, and uh, this one's unlocked. Wait, what? And you're not coming out. So, Lexi, uh, I brought something to make it a little tighter. A no. bunch of ping pong balls. No. The ping pong ball is gonna make it literally impossible to sleep. All right, well, I'm not budging. You wanna back out? 500 bucks. I don't wanna back out. I literally tried everything I could. <laughs> now that I think of it, I got one more thing up my sleeve. Please, no, it doesn't get any worse than this. You know, I had Mexican food earlier. I had a few burritos. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no. No. Ben! Oh, got it. Yep, that's it. That's the uh, that's the final straw. Oh. I'm not budging. Dang it! That's officially all I got. So, Lexi, I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, so I've just been hanging out. I asked Jeremy and Pearson to bring me food because I'm starving and the snacks are not holding me over. So, Lexi. Hello. Hello. 
Betsy? Don't tell me she's in there. What is that? Is it a locker? What? <laughs> Why are you always getting in it? Why are you random? always in boxes? Yes. You love boxes and she's always in boxes. Hey guys. What's the point of this? Is that why you wanted me to bring food because you can't get it yourself? Yeah, I'm literally starving. Oh, she thinks we're just like our maids or something. You know what? Ah. Get out of here. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, wait. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, okay, we'll put it through here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ernie! Ernie! <laughs> that was that so what? Hey, she deserves this. She just expects us to get us food. I thought we're, I thought we we're gonna hang out. I really hate you. <laughs> Thank you guys. Is this what you do in your free time? Yeah. yeah. This is the most weirdest thing I've ever seen before. No, okay, you guys. So <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, so I have a little fun activity for you guys to do. Are you gonna trap us in a locker? Is that fun? <laughs> no. You guys get to decorate my locker. Ooh, oh, it's like back to school. Yeah, like back to school. I have some um, stickers. Where's it at? Oh, where is it? Oh, baby. Okay, so grab your stuff. All right. Oh, right, yeah. Make my locker look really cute. Okay. All right, hey, the first touch. There we go. It's gonna look really pretty, Lexi. I think you're really gonna enjoy this. Is that spray paint? No. What are you writing? Uh, just, just a little message. Is it cute? Oh my god, I'm gonna die! <laughs> oh, it actually is really true. Is oh it god. cute? It's so cute! I am beautiful is what it says. Oh! Hey, uh, you know what, you're so welcome, Lex. That's really sweet, Pierce. Dude, I'm gonna be laying in my comfy bed, and you're gonna be in here for however long. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Do you even have a blanket? I do have a blanket. I have a blanket and a pillow. And you're gonna be sleeping upright? Okay, you have fun with that. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, okay, I say it's, we're It's up. getting late. Yeah. I hope you have fun. Why yeah. would I even invite them? I'll, they're just making me feel bad about this. I will take that food right back, man! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! How'd you get it? Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, bye Lexi! Bye yeah. guys! Thank you for the food! Oh wait, actually, one more thing? Here, here. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys. Oh, Jeremy! Oh my god! Alright, see you Lexi! Bye! Hey, we spit your food! <laughs> All right, so Pearson and Jeremy just left. I ate my food. What else is there to even do inside of a locker? All right, looks like I'm gonna be reading a book and then going to bed. Okay, I never thought I'd be saying this, but overnight in a vending machine is a lot easier than this. All right, I'm gonna try to get some sleep and hopefully the next time I see you, it will be the morning. Good morning, sunshines. Good morning from a locker. Coffee time! Thank you. I don't know why I keep doing these challenges. They're honestly extremely uncomfortable, but the feeling at the end when you wake up in a locker is unmatched. When I was a kid, I had a fear of the garage door crushing me. So today, Ben is gonna face that fear in three, two, one, go! Go, go, go! I did it! Oh <laughs> my god. I have to say, I kind of wish the garage door crushed you. I wish you did that one, come on. Uh, okay, okay. I am about to face my childhood fear of a demon. childhood fear of clowns. So I hid a clown in the closet and he's going to pop out and scare her when she's least expecting it. Okay, so Lexi said that this was a childhood fear, but honestly, I'm still afraid of the dark and so now this is an adult fear and it's miserable. Lexi, you can turn on the lights now. <laughs> no, 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 I hate you. No, that was awful. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, my heart is racing. Okay, Pearson, not only did you face the childhood fear of the dark, but you also faced the childhood fear of clowns. How did they not know that was coming? Ah! 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 And the fear of pride! I'm pretty, that's why. The fear of public humiliation. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Ben peed his pants! Oh, <laughs> I'm a loser! I'm so dumb! No! 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 
When I was younger, I had a fear of swallowing gum because apparently it stays in your intestines for seven years. We'll check back on this in seven years, but let's move on. Being home alone and hearing a knock at the door was one of my biggest childhood fears. Somebody just rang the doorbell. <gasps> Who is that? I need to call my mom. Mom, there's a sketchy lady at the door and I'm home alone. I'm your mom. Not buying it. Are you kidding me? This is a trap. She's on the phone. I think she's calling back up. I gotta go. Oh my god, she has a key. Ah, she's inside the house! Ah! I used to have a fear that there was always a boogeyman in my closet. Ah! This is worse than the boogeyman. Another childhood fear, timed multiplication tests. And your time starts now. And done! Done. Lexi, the class ended 45 minutes ago. Everybody's gone. You still want to grade it? Another fear, popcorn reading. Okay, Ben, it's your turn to pick somebody. So popcorn, somebody else in the class to read, please. I'm gonna pick... Hmm. 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 Okay, Lexi. What page were we on? Lexi, you need to have your eyes in the book so you know where we are. You can't lose your place. Yeah, yeah. Eyes on the book, dummy. You can't even read. Better than you. Brent is about to face the childhood fear of Santa. And we're going to watch on a live stream to see how he does. Yeah. He probably looks so yeah. weird. So you right here? Yeah. Oh, cool. Right. It's Brent. Brent. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice what's your, what's you. your name? Uh, my name is... Uh... Santa. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> Obviously, his name is Santa. Okay, Brent is about to confront Santa. I have a question for you, Santa. Oh, no. No, 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 it's not tough. <laughs> Why did you always break into my house and steal my food? I Every December 25th, you 24. came in. 24. Broke in. I, I, have, I have footage, and you stole all my food. Well, you're not supposed to be trying to capture it by, by camera. Okay, Brent just dove right into that. Santa is at a loss of words right now. I feel so bad. Okay, this is good. This is going well. I just hope Brent doesn't get picked out for confronting him. If you have camera footage of it, you did a no-no. Oh, okay. Well, you know. <laughs> Anna is clapping back at Brent. They're about to take a picture right now, and they're literally giving Brent props. Yeah, when yeah. I was a kid, I used to be, yeah, I used to be scared of meeting Santa. So I'm like conquering my fear. 15 years later. Brent is such a liar. 24, and he's still afraid of Santa Claus. Thank you, Santa. Right on, man. Thank you. <laughs> have a good day. Thank you. All right, it looks like they're finishing up, so let's go see if Brent overcame this fear. All right, Brent. How'd it go? Well, all I have to say is next time he breaks into our house, I'll be ready. Okay. Childhood fear of asking your parents to have a sleepover. So Pearson and I are gonna face this, so go ahead and ask my mom, Pearson. Ask my mom to your have mom? a sleepover. My mom, yeah. You want me to ask your mom to have a sleepover? She'll say yes to you. But that doesn't even make sense. She's literally your mother. You're not gonna ask would, her. No, I'm not gonna you ask just her. You're her daughter. daughter. Yeah. You know, I don't oh, want to have a sleepover. Be able to... We're gonna face the childhood fear of escalators. Oh, me first. Oh, no, all right, here we go. Come on, Lexi, you got this. Oh, Lexi. <laughs> okay, this wasn't so bad, you know. It feels good to overcome your fear, you know. I got this. So it's it's going like a little a little faster than I thought. Pearson looks a little bit nervous for this one. Okay, I'm on. I'm on now. What? Yeah, your other foot. Oh, ow, Lexi. Ow. I don't think I can do this. Okay. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I did it. That wasn't so bad, right? I used to have a fear of hanging my feet off the bed, thinking that a monster would come and Hey, air drop those with me. My man. Okay, so I'm here with Salish. Salish is 13. So, I want to know, what is your biggest fear? I really hate the dentist. Oh, I hate the dentist too. Yeah. So, uh, you ready to go face that fear? I'm not going. You're not going to do it? No. What? You got this, Lexi. Go no, ahead. I'm not going to the dentist. Wait, I don't want to do this. You going. are going. You I'm are not going. going. Get in here. I can't Stop do it. This. Stop it. Let's Stop go. it right Let's now. Go. I'm not. Fine, fine, right. fine. I'll go. Go. Jeez, Lexi. Hey. For Lexi, come on down. We're ready for you. Oh no, I'm good here. Come on, it's gonna be okay. How low does this thing go? It can go lower. All right, are you ready? No. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even do anything. I don't want to be here. Looks like you need a crown. I know, right? Not that kind of crown. All right, you're all done. You're a mean man. She called me. Another fear that I had was spelling bee time. And 
Your word is subscribe. Um, S U D Z four seven D. Make sure to subscribe. I had a childhood fear that I was always being watched, but I'm not really too afraid of that anymore. I'm not really too afraid of that anymore. Little does she know, I have 47 cameras installed around her whole house. Ha! I'm always watching you, Lexi. I had a fear of sitting too close to the TV because my mom told me it would ruin my vision. I knew she was lying about this one. Another childhood fear is the fear of dolls. And if Ben's not scared of dolls yet, he's about to be. All right, Ben, are you ready for your surprise? Sure. Oh! Ow! What was that? Ben, are you scared of dolls? No! Then why are you screaming? No! Ben, you're being such a wimp. No, I'm not! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Ow! That was literally a real ball, that's not a doll. Ben, they're baseball with dolls no. attached to them. Yeah! 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 Oh, yo! They're coming fast! Ow! No, that's too much! That's too much! So Ben, are you afraid of dolls? Yes, I am, gosh. The boys are about to face their childhood fear of the bounce house deflating while they're still inside of it, but they don't know it yet. Oh, yeah. oh. hey, what's going on? Wait, what's happening? Hey! Hey, why is it deflating? Why did it turn off? Oh my god. No, 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 no. We gotta get out of here. Oh no, hey, I'm getting out of here, Brett. No, I'm getting out. No, Jamie, no, no. <laughs> Brent. What? You're not dead. Yes, I am. This thing collapsed on top of me. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, Jeremy, get off of me. One of Brent's childhood fears was ordering food, so we're gonna face that fear today. Don't do this to me, Lexi. What would you guys like to drink? Uh I'll have a wa I'll have a wo he'll he'll have a water. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. When Brent was younger, he was always too scared to tell the waitress when his order was wrong. Didn't you ask for no veggies? Yeah, but it, it's fine. I can eat it like this. You're allergic to carrots. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. I'll just eat it. Um, excuse me. He has something to tell you. Lexi, stop. Yes? Uh, um, uh, 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 um, can I, uh, no, nothing, nothing, uh. Don't, you're gonna... Guess he never got over that fear. I used to have a fear of closing my eyes in the shower, but now I do it with ease. <gasps> Why are you screaming? You never open your eyes this early. I come in here all the time. If anybody's childhood fear is Jeremy, I know why. Just close your eyes again. No, Jeremy, get They're out. Close. Get out. The childhood fear of eating watermelon seeds, thinking that a watermelon will grow inside of you. We'll check back on you. We'll check back on this later. When Brent was a kid, he had a fear of getting his hair cut. I didn't have a fear of getting my hair cut. I know, I just wanted to see you sit in this chair. <laughs> so I'm a pretty small person. Yeah. Which is why for this week's video, I will be staying 24 hours in the world's tiniest apartment and I flew all the way to Japan to find it. Where are we going, Brent? Japan. Woo! As you guys know, Brent's really annoying, so I'm definitely gonna have to Sorry, I had to. Oh my god. Okay, so this is a measuring tool and it's gonna tell me exactly how big this apartment is. All that I have to do is point the laser across the room and it tells me exactly how many square feet it is. All right, we're both at each end of the apartment. It's time to test this out. Oh my god. 71 square feet. That's like 6.6 .6 square meters. You guys, this is officially the tiniest apartment in the world. Let me give you guys a little tour. The bedroom. The toilet, which is conveniently located inside of the shower. <laughs> I've never been in a place this small, you guys. All right, now give me a spin. And that concludes the tour. <laughs> Since I'm gonna be staying in this apartment for the next 24 hours, I decided to bring some food with me. And it just so happens to also be very tiny. I don't know how to cook, so hopefully it's not complicated. Well, looks like I'm not eating for 24 hours either. <laughs> you guys, this was extremely misleading. There is no ramen in here. Spring rolls, I don't know. I don't see any dumplings. I feel like I got pranked. Doesn't look that bad. Maybe you should try it. I'm good, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm getting extremely bored, so I think it's time to have some friends over if they fit. But before that, I'm going to clean up a little bit, you know, for my guests. It's the polite thing to do. So give me two seconds. Literally, it'll be so quick. So the owner told me that this place came with a vacuum, and this is what I found. <laughs> a mini vacuum. 
Let's get to cleaning. Done. What do you guys expect? This place is so tiny. And the room stops here. This is literally smaller than my closet. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Oh, my God. The toilet's in the shower. The toilet is part of the shower. But and the sink. Yes. You do have a nice little window over there. Oh, yes. Come check out the view. Oh, Please. Yeah. You ready for this view? Oh, I'm, I'm ready. Oh, we got some oh. stairs. Some stairs and I think that's a parking garage. You know what? It is like the perfect sized apartment for you. You of all people, Lexi, would have an apartment this size. It fits you. It you know? does, right? It's it like literally fits me. Like the wall human. You I, need a small apartment. Yeah. Oh my god, you're joking. There is no way this is where you're staying. I've seen like bathrooms like twice as size. <laughs> so when you stand here, you can really get the yeah. full view of the apartment. Wow. And stand up straight, you're I, gonna hurt your neck. I know. <laughs> my gosh, this is tiny. This is just your size though. It's, oh my god. Now I've been here for a while already and I'm gonna be here until tomorrow morning. Seriously? Yeah. Like actually? Actually. Oh my gosh, dude, this, no. How much was this? 20 US dollars. Really? 20. Wow, for all this? For all of What a this? bargain. If you thought this place looked small with one person in it, here's what it looks like with five. Hey. Hi, Hi how's it going? I wish you had some AC in here because it is very hot. This place is tight. Some party. Uncomfortable. Lexi. I'm having fun. You guys have no idea how awful my day has been. Oh, well let me play a little song for you on the world's smallest violin. Did you bring that from home? Yeah, fit in my carry-on. What? Ridiculous. The world's smallest violin in the world's smallest apartment. Since I'm such a good host, I got us some board games. Cool. Fun. Yeah, That'll but fun. Um, they're tiny. Oh. Of course. Yeah. Why are they tiny? Of course you guys, we have Operation, Candyland, Scrabble, and Monopoly. How are we even supposed to play those? <laughs> Where did you find these? Is anyone getting claustrophobic? <laughs> yes. Wait, definitely. just a little bit. All right, here we go. Five. 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 One. All right. Boardwalk. I can't I even. I want to buy it. How could you read that? A 20. Uh -huh. 500. Oh, you got jail. Oh. I think we're actually already in a jail cell. I think we should head out. It's getting a little warm. Yeah, this oh, was fun, Lexi, yeah. but... Uh, Lexi, you can come with us, Robert. you know? Uh, like, you don't have to stay here. No, I do have to stay here. I made a commitment, but you guys are also going to stay a little bit longer, right? I don't think so. No. I, I got four other board games for it's, us to play. I... It smells Please, really operation. Familiar. Operation. We're gonna play no, operation. Absolutely not. Oh, thanks. Thanks. One of you guys gets to stay with me. What? Ooh, yeah. You yes. guys Two? It's a chance of a lifetime. No, it is not. All right, nose goes. No. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, that was you. That was you. <laughs> there, I'm not staying here. I'm afraid you lost the nose go. Yeah, I'm guys, the tallest person we here. Get some fresh air right now. Yeah. Yes. That's so so lovely. Oh. Let's go. Yes, you guys enjoy the fresh air. Dom uh, and I will be here. Enjoy, Dom. I'm not Have going. Have fun. Here. Enjoy this stuffy, cramped room with your tiny bar games. You're gonna play Monopoly with me, whether you like it or not. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. No, Dom. You son of a. <laughs> Back away from the window. Back away from the window. Dom, I thought it'd be fun if we jumped on the bed. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Alright. Is this gonna break? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Why did I think that was gonna be a good idea? The paint is coming off the ceiling. <laughs> that hurt. Hey, Dom, that's gonna be a month's rent. No, I can't, I can't afford it. Hey, uh... Wait, what is it, like $2? <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not. You're not any fun. Well, I don't want to be here. Well, then maybe you should leave. Okay. But the front door is locked, so good luck. No, Dom. Wait, Lexi. She's trying to go out the window again. Dom. Dom and I are going to get ready for bed now with our mini toothbrushes. Look how fitting it is. Yeah. Because we're in a tiny apartment. Mm -hmm. All right, Dom and I are going to go to sleep now. Wait. Where am I supposed to sleep? Figure it out. There's plenty of room. <laughs> How is this your bed? The, this is literally meant for one person. It's not even meant for one person. It's meant for like a baby. <laughs> okay, good night, Dom. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hopefully, the next time I see you, it will be in the morning. Good night. Okay, I just woke up to the most horrific smell. Hope it's not what I think it is. Dom, are you in there? 
Yes, I'm in here. What do you want? Dom, really? What? I have to go. Dom, the toilet is right next to my pillow. Like, I will get pink eye. Okay, what am I supposed to do? I have to go. Hold it. I can't. We're in the world's tiniest apartment, and you just poop next to my bed. I'm sorry. If there was another bathroom, I would use it. Dom, just, just leave. Okay, you know what? I would love to. Well, have a good stay. Um, I'm going to head out. Um, okay. What time is it? Can you at least spray for breeze or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, Lexi. Have fun. Bye, Dom. All right, you guys, we successfully completed 24 hours in the world's tiniest apartment. It honestly wasn't that bad, but I definitely am ready to go and find something a little more spacious. <sighs> Japan, you were great. Happy birthday! <laughs> channel okay you guys so this is going to be a very special video basically this weekend is Brent's Ben's and my grandma's birthday so I will be surprising them with some very fun things so stay tuned for that if you guys are excited be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started Woo! it is now time for Brent's gift all right Brent so as you know your birthday is coming up I know so I have a little surprise for you okay are you ready sure <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Is it the party bus? <laughs> yes, it is. Happy birthday! <laughs> Birthday. <laughs> All right, you guys, should we get on the bus? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Brent, here's your cake. Yeah. Oh. Happy birthday, Brent. We hit a toenail in this cake. Go find it. Ew. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. He got the toenail. No. Yeah. Brent, keep your eyes closed. Oh okay, Brent. I'm uh, turning 23. Woo! That must have been a long 23 years without me. Oh! Oh! Okay, so for Ben's birthday, I decided to get a tattoo of his name on my neck here and a tattoo of his face on my back. So I'm really excited to do this. Um, I hope he enjoys his present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just kidding, you guys. So the reason that I'm pranking Ben with these fake tattoos is because last year he did a video where he pranked me that he forgot my birthday. So I was going to go to the beach right now uh, with Jeremy. Seriously? Son! Happy birthday, Lexi. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Surprise! So I thought that it was only fair to prank him back. So I am in the process of making another gift for Ben. Obviously, if we were still together, he would be getting, you know, a better gift, but his loss. So hit it, Pearson. Oh, you got it, girl. Happy birthday to you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, Ben, are you ready for your birthday surprise? Yes. <laughs> okay. What? Happy birthday! Thank you. Oops. What's the surprise? What? What is that? What? What is that? Oh, I got a tattoo of your face for your birthday. And I got one Girl. on my neck too of like your name. Why would you do that? I thought you'd like it. Are you freaking crazy? No. Dude. What? That's insane. That's literally gonna be there forever, you realize that? My entire face on your back is like way too far. Well, good thing I didn't actually do it then, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, These no. tattoos aren't real. No, they're not. I swear! <laughs> Happy birthday, Ben! <laughs> 
You want to give me a heart attack for my birthday? <laughs> That's what you just gave me. I'm sorry, okay? But I actually have a real surprise for you. Dude, what's the real gift? Because clearly, that's not it. Okay, right, come on. It's in the car. <laughs> okay, Ben, are you ready for your actual birthday surprise? Yes. Okay, it's right here behind the camera. A sticky note? Mm -hmm. YouTube.com, and then a bunch of numbers. It's a link. To what? So get out your phone and type in the link. I'm so confused as to what this is. I worked really hard on this, so I really hope that you enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> no! What is this? Stop, I worked so hard on it. Your, your singing is wonderful. Thank you. This is actually really funny. Um, <laughs> it, 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 it's better, it's better than I thought. Thank you. Bruh, what? <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Surprise. Thank you. I, I, I honestly, I loved it. You, you might have said a few things that you know weren't true. I put a lot of work into that. Though. No, it was good. Like it was great. Thank you, man. <laughs> Happy I loved birthday. It. I loved it. Lexi needs to become a singer. He said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So as I said earlier, it is also my grandma's birthday, and basically she has been driving the same car for over ten years, and she really needs a new one. But she has over ten grandchildren that she loves to spend money on, so she always puts herself last. With that being said, I decided to buy my grandma a brand new car for her birthday. Happy birthday, Nana! So, it goes, and then go out, and then go back behind me. <laughs> so, you got it, you got it, okay? You know if you drive like a black car, right? No, I just moved my mom's car. I just moved on it. On the corner? Yeah, why? Someone someone just hit it. Are you kidding? Someone I just, just pulled it. it like on the curb. This is yours? I think, well, she does. I just, I, I told her to stop, so she's right outside. Well, I'll look, Mom. Happy birthday, Nana. Oh, you rap. This is your car. Woo! Oh my god. Your car is <laughs> Woo! Happy birthday! Wow. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Oh, oh we oh, I got my poor little car. <laughs> oh, your old car's fine. It's just old. <laughs> so here's your new car, Nana. Happy birthday! <laughs> Alright, here you go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! 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 You look good in that car, <laughs> Oh my god, it's a Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. So, Nana, did you fall for it? Yeah! <laughs> she actually I thought her car was, was I hit. I know. I don't think I'll miss it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Nana, oh. slow down! Slow down! <laughs> Whoa. Fabulous. Oh my God. Well, happy birthday, Nana. Yeah. Happy, oh, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> Shocker, you're in your bathing suit again. I don't get it. You couldn't have done clothes on? Yeah. Oh my God. What the heck did I just watch? Hey, Andrew, if you're watching this, run. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys. So for this week's video, my overprotective brothers are going to be reacting to some of my cringy TikToks as well as some of my TikTok drafts. Oh my gosh, they are going to be so mad. You guys, I might get yelled at, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now, and let's get this video started. Woo! So most of you guys know that I have one overprotective brother, but I actually have three. And to show you guys just how overprotective they are, I'm going to be doing a hickey prank on them. Wish me luck. You guys, there's like no right way to say this. It's Okay, fake hickey is on. Okay, so I just took this selfie on Snapchat. You can clearly see the fake hickey. And I made a private Snapchat with just my three brothers on it. So I'm about to post this picture to that story. All my brothers are on their way here right now. I am so scared. Brent! What? Can you come here? What? I wanted to plan a trip with mom and dad because their anniversary is coming up. And then we'd all pitch in. I'll pitch in like a third, yeah. I'll use zero. She's like, I'm not I know there's four people here. Move your, move your hair real quick. Huh? Was that now? Move your hair real quick. Why? Move your left hair. No, the other side. The right side. Why? Because it's oh, old. I see it. I see something. What? What is that? What is that? What is that? What's what? Why is it on your neck? Dude, you're weird. That's not good. Like, it's disgusting. Yeah. Where are you going? Yeah, you need to just 12 years old. I'm not 12. You're a child. Where are you going? Okay, wait. 
Wait, come back. Everyone, come back. I have a magic trick. Okay, look. We yeah. know. Now you see we it. Know. Now no, you, you don't. don't. You're so funny. Wow. If that actually happened, you'd end up in the pool right now. Okay, I'm sorry for pulling that prank on you, but the only reason I did it was to show the viewers how overprotective you guys are of me. Okay? No point proven. Yeah, wow. Shut up, okay. stupid. <laughs> I was wondering if you guys would want to react to some of my cringy TikToks. But all your TikToks are cringy, so if it means that we get to roast you for an hour straight, then I'm down. All right, let's do it. Um, It is time. I'm very nervous. I have a feeling I might get yelled. That. Guys, she makes the weirdest TikTok sometimes by herself. So. It's true, and um, I'm letting them look through my TikTok draft. And oh. these videos are so bad to the point where they didn't even make it onto my TikTok account. Oh god. So let's take a look at them. They're that bad. Let's go. take a look and see which one we want to watch first. Okay. Should we watch that one? Yeah. That's it. Let's, let's no, it. no, 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 no. Yes. All right, here we go. No! What are you wearing? Yeah, what is that? What is going on here? Yeah, do I have to watch this? Can we just like, you know, ah! what in the world is this? Oh my god! What the heck did I just watch? It's a draft for a reason! I know, right? Like, yeah, that's what Yeah, can start. I delete this right now? I'm gonna delete it. Stop. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, now it's on YouTube. It was a trend, and I wanted to hop on the trend, and then I did it, and I was like, you know what? No. That is disgusting. Alright, so our next one. I'm, I don't wanna watch anymore. I feel like. I know! I totally regret doing this video. Alright, here we go. Alright, not too bad. What the? Why? Why that angle though? Alright, alright. What the heck am I watching? Did you film it yourself? She literally I... thinks the stupidest things are so funny. In my defense, once again, these are draft for a reason. That was not as bad as the last one. <laughs> Are you at home when you make these? Here we go. No. They're brushing their teeth. Here we go. <laughs> What the? That's disgusting. No, 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 no. I there remember this one. I watched this before. He did. Like oh, I'm like, gross. You guys, I didn't even remember I had these in here. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what is in your butt? Yeah, she put a pillow in there or something. <laughs> like What'd you put in? Oh, my God. I am getting flamed. Uh, I was doing a YouTube video, and it was wearing butt pads to see how my friends would react. And I was like, this would make a great TikTok. But, you know, it didn't make the cut. That's bad. All right. That's it. Okay, we're done with the TikTok draft. Okay, Thank now God. you can look at my actual TikTok and what I've actually posted. If they're trash, her. why would I want to see them? Okay, I'm just going to click the first one I see. Just honestly, probably yeah. crazy. What is that top? It was a joke. Yeah, you really fell off. Yeah. yeah. It was a joke. Joke. What's that outfit? Is that mom shirt? You guys, the only thing you I'm getting- You peaked in high school. The only thing I'm getting out of this school. video is a lack of confidence. This is horrible. All right, what else? What, you're naked in that one. In this one? Yeah. Why is mom in the back? I know. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. Why are you not so happy? What? I guarantee that got taken down. How much did you have to pay mom to do it? <laughs> Poor mom. I know. But hey, there were clothes under my towel. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Next one. This one looks interesting. Let's, let's take a look. This looks embarrassing. Alright, you're still not very good at dancing. Where is he looking? Why is he... Did you poop on the floor? Oh my, oh my god. gosh. You ripped your pants? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Andrew, 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 if you're watching this, run. Alright, moving on to the next one. Yeah, I recognize that one. If she was that, I'd be the ugliest boy in the family. Hey, that's so not even true. Yes, she would be. Stop scrolling oh, down here. so far. We got another one with Ben. Here we go. What's your favorite kind of food? Um, fruit, fruit, yeah, what kind of fruit? Okay, that, this is just bugs me. What's your favorite kind of food? That yeah, sound that, just bugs me. That, that video just made it so much worse. Yeah. I'm glad you and Ben broke up because we don't have to watch any more Ben and Lexi He needs to go videos. back to work. Those are cringe videos. You know what? I totally agree. That one was the definition of like a cringe video. I'm glad we won't see those anymore. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go back and maybe take that one down. Uh, <laughs> Alright, this one's with Andrew. Okay, I like this. <laughs> what? There you go. 
I remember this TikTok. That is the most, I was so caught off guard. It was so random. Yeah, yeah. that was actually a good one. Actually, I, I don't really have anything bad to say about the gaming song. Shocker, you're in your bathing suit again for mm. TikTok. You don't even need to watch this. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't even like this sound. I don't get it. You turn it down with clothes on. Yeah, yeah why did you have to have your bathing suit on? So you know what? We're done with with everything. Yeah, thank you. Um, yes. Okay, we are absolutely done and going through my TikTok draft and my cringy TikTok. And um, it's safe to say that if anything, I just got totally roasted today. This, this was more of a you should be used roast to it than reactive. Yeah, yeah you guys. I don't know what I was expecting. I expected you guys to you know be a little bit mean, but I was not expecting to get flamed. <laughs> you should have expected it. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. All right, you guys, so for this week's video, the last person to leave the giant pool of money gets to keep it. If you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this video started. Woo! You guys, check this out. All right, finishing touches. <laughs> We're gonna have a pool day, but I didn't say what kind of pool. So let's get the reaction. Right this way. Watch your step. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You said pool day. Yes, I did say pool day. All right, you guys, open your eyes in three, two, one. <laughs> huh? Oh. What the heck? This isn't a pool. This right? is a pool. Oh, I, a Jeremy. What? I saw I didn't say anything. You guys are going swimming in money. This is a money pool. I oh, like this. I'm kind of down. Swimming. We just get to pick money out and whatnot. It's like free. No, that's actually not how it works. <laughs> Basically, the last person to leave this pool of $25,000 gets to keep it. What? This is $25,000? This is $25,000 a month. It would stop me from just picking it up and running away. All right, you guys. Get in the pool. <laughs> all right, I have a question for all of you guys, okay? So if you were to win all of this money, I wanna know what you would do with it. All right, so if I won the money, I would take Pearson on a very, very nice vacation to Hawaii. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. All right, if I win, I'm gonna take the money to the casino, double it, triple it, quadruple it, and then buy the casino, then name the casino the, the Ben Casino. That's that, my plan. That's so extra. Watch, I'll do it. If I win this challenge and get the $25,000, I'm going to be adding guacamole to every meal for the rest of my life. That's really stupid. Yeah. yeah that's pretty lame. That's a really stupid answer. Yeah. It's better than Ben Casino. If I win all the money, I'm going to be taking Lexi on a fine, fancy date. Wait, Whoa! Are you down? Okay, now we know who's not going to be winning. Oh, no. <laughs> so there are pretty much no rules. I shouldn't have to say this, but since Ben is in the challenge, oh. there's no peeing in this pool. What? Yeah. <laughs> Alright you guys, I think it's time for a little game. Let's go! Okay, so this pool is filled with $1 bills, but earlier I hid a $100 bill in here. What? Okay. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Exactly. <laughs> so basically, whoever finds the $100 bill gets to keep it, and they get to not participate in the first challenge. Oh! Wow! So you'll be safe for the first challenge. Alright you guys, start booking. You could be sitting on it. No, the money is never ending. There's so much money! Oh my god, what the heck? I found it! No, you didn't. No, I'm just uh, kidding. You guys, this is not a. Oh. <laughs> I found it! I found it! No, you didn't. I found it! Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so Ben found the $100 bill. Ben, you do get to pocket that. Oh. And you're safe for the next challenge. Let's go! In the theme of our beach day, I actually have some tropical drinks here. Yeah! Brent, Jeremy, and Pearson, you guys can pick your drinks. That looks like the grossest one, okay. bro. Actually. This one looks like mango. I mean, this one looks like mango. <laughs> oh. like the There's looking. stuff in the bottom what of this right this? now. <laughs> okay, so Brent, are you um, confident in your pick? You know, it smells a little strange. Well, maybe that's because it's grape juice mixed with tuna can water. Ew! Oh, Ew. I'm so glad. Yeah. Okay, so Jeremy, you have sardines mixed with vegetable juice and water. Dude, I'm gonna get sick. Ew. What's in mine, Lexi? Well, Pearson, you don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It came from in here. So basically, if you choose to not drink your drink or you don't finish it, then you have to leave. Drink it! Drink it! Cheers, Cheers guys. Brent, take the first sip. Oh! oh. 
<laughs> Dude, your breath stinks. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, taste Go. test. <laughs> Jeremy is it? so nasty. <laughs> the face. What's that face? Oh, this is so gross. <laughs> nasty. Oh. I yeah. still taste it when my nose is closed. So, Pearson, what does yours taste like? It tastes like eggs. <gasps> Jeremy, Jesus! Jeremy is dead. How did you do that? I'm actually gonna cry. Your this eyes is, are watering. I know, because this is disgusting. Finish that sip. Ah! Wait, Pearson didn't even drink her. What are we thinking, Pearson? Every time I take a sip, I want to throw up. I'm gonna tell you what's in your drink. I don't know if this is gonna help you finish it or if this is gonna be the deal breaker. There are egg yolks, apple cider vinegar, Ew. and then we dipped Brett's dirty sock in it. Oh! No. No. <laughs> More than twenty-five thousand dollars, my dignity. Really? Oh my Yo, that's God. the biggest mistake you've ever made in your life. You know life. what? If Brent holds true to what he said, he said that he was gonna take me out on a nice dinner. Uh, I don't know about that actually. Uh, ew, bro! Ew! Okay, I'm. Just, <laughs> no, I'm. Done. All right, Pearson. But you know what? Here is one dollar for your troubles. Okay? Hey. So that's so nice. Whoa. You know what? You guys can keep it. That doesn't make sense. Well, I'm definitely not missing, so I don't know about you guys. I got right. this. Woo! Brent, come on. Oh! Oh! No! Oh. Okay, so since everybody missed in that first round, we're going to just keep going until people start making it. Let's go. Oh. No! Alright, well, guys, I'll see you. Uh, not so fast. What do you mean? You still have the punishment. Who's okay. in the money? It's a big enough punishment already. It seems like it, but oh, no, no, not, no, you're no, not no. done yet. Alright, Ben, since you lost the challenge, um, it's time for your punishment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna give you one last chance. Okay. If you answer this question correctly, I might not let you fall in the pool. Okay? What is it? What is it? Who is your favorite YouTuber? You! No! <laughs> Oh, uh, bro, I, I answered correctly. I answered correctly. It didn't sound convincing enough. That's right. All right, so looks like it's just you guys left. Brent and Jeremy versus $25,000. Well, um, Jeremy, you can leave now because I know I'm going to walk away with this. Oh, you can leave now too. Or we could both leave. Oh. I uh, no, I think I want the whole thing, so. Well, I mean, that's like, what's the math? Like $12.5,000 each. No, I want 25. Bro, come on. Bro, come what on. about a game of rock, paper, scissors? So we're going to put. 25 grand on just one game of rock, paper, scissors? You guys aren't budging. I think you need to do something. Okay, I was joking when I suggested rock, paper, scissors because this is kind of the big deal. Let's but, go. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, scissors shit. Rock, paper, scissors, scissors shit. Ah, uh, oh, no. let's go. Okay, fine. I guess I have Wait, to leave. What? Get out. Just kidding. I'm not leaving. Bro, I just beat your parents. No, fair, I'm not leaving. Get out of here. I'm not leaving. So it's just Brent and Jeremy left, and they've debated on splitting the money. They tried to play rock, paper, scissors. The bottom line is I'm getting tired and I'm losing $25,000 anyways. I'm just trying to hurry this up. I have a little game and I think it's going to get one of them out. Hopefully. I actually have a little game for you guys because it doesn't seem like either of you are budging or willing to leave. Nope. No. Nope. Here are two pieces of paper. Here are your pens. And basically, if you both write share, then you both get to share the money. If one of you writes steal and the other writes share, then the person who writes steal gets to keep all the money. And lastly, if you both write steal, then neither of you get the money. Oh. Don't write steal. Because if you write you don't write steal. No, listen, listen, listen. No. If you write steal. If you write steal. If we both write steal, none of us are getting the money. So let's yeah. just write share and get half. I think if anything, this game is going to tell us who's greedy and who's not. All right, the boys have written down their answers. You guys feel confident? Yeah, did you write share? Did you write share? Of course I did. Bro, I did too. No, I did. I did. Well, yeah, we both did. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Chilling. Flip your papers in three, two, one. 
Bro, I knew it. See, I that's knew why it. I wrote this. <laughs> no, that's why I wrote this. No, I knew you were gonna Neither steal. Neither of them get Bro, the money. You, really wanted to even you guys are greedy. Cause I knew he was gonna do that. Oh do my that. god. Now none of us are gonna get the money, Jeremy. Oh so my god, I'm feeling it. This is gonna happen. No, okay, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Okay, I'm going to be splitting the money between everyone that participated in the challenge today. Bro. Okay? And we just stayed the longest for no apparent reason. You guys both wrote steal. I told you the rules of the game. You know what? I mean, I'll take it. We just have to stop being greedy. Deal? No, absolutely not. <laughs> bro, that was you. <laughs> You're the one who did the handshake, bro. You're like, Ugh. Did you just say share? You hey, sound you just right out. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next week. Listen, you said share, I said share. No.